With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Today our question is find the roots of the following quadratic equations if they exist by the method of completing the square. So we are given the four parts. Let us solve each part one by one. First part is the equation given is 2x square minus 7x plus 3 is equals to 0. So if I want to check by method of completing the square, so first of all, by if I want to apply the method of completing the square, the coefficient of x square that would be equal to 1. So taking out 2 common from the equation, will be left with x square minus 7 upon 2x plus 3 upon 2 is equals to 0. So our equation will become x square minus 7 upon 2x is equals to minus of 3 by 2. Now I want to complete the square of the left hand side. So I need to take the coefficient of x that is minus 7 by 2, multiply it by half and then square. So the term that will become that is 7 square is 49 and in the denominator 4 square is 16. So to complete the whole square I need to add 49 upon 16 both the sides so that will be equals to x square minus 7x upon 2 plus 49 upon 16 is equals to minus 3 by 2 plus 49 upon 16. So let us simplify it further. Here in the left hand side I can see that the x is having the negative sign. So it will be whole square of x minus that is 49, 49 upon 16 7 upon 4 whole square. So it will be x minus 7 by 4 square is equals to taking the LCM in the right hand side with 16 it will be equal to minus 24 plus 49 divided by 16. So after simplification it will become x minus 7 upon 4 whole square is equals to 25 upon 16. Now taking square root so that will be equal to x minus 7 by 4 will be equal, is equal to plus minus square root of 25 by 16. So the square root of 25 by 16 that is equal to 5 by 4 and taking minus 7 by 4 to the right hand side will become plus 7 by 4 is equal to x. So therefore the two roots of the quadratic equation are x is equal to 5 by 4 plus 7 by 4 or minus 5 by 4 plus 7 by 4. So after simplification the value will become 3 or the value will become half. These are the two roots. Now next moving on to the second part of the question. Let me write the question first of all. The second part, part is 2x square plus x minus 4. 2x square plus x minus 4 is equals to 0. So let us check first of all as I am applying the method of completing square. So first of all I need to make the coefficient of x square that is equals to 1. So for that I will take 2 common from the equation. So we will be left with x square plus x upon 2 minus 2 is equals to 0. So our new equation will become x square plus x upon 2 is equals to 2. So now in the left hand side I want to complete the whole square. So I need to take the coefficient of x that is half. Multiply it by half and then square it. So the square will become that is 1 by 4 square that is 16. So I need to add 1 by 16 to the both right hand left hand side to complete the square. So 1 by 16 is equals to 2 plus 1 by 16. In the left hand side the whole square will be of the positive because the x is having the plus sign. So it will be of x plus 1 by 4 whole square is equals to taking the LCM it will become 33 upon 16. Now taking the square root to solve the quadratic equation that will be equals to plus minus square root of 33 upon 16. Now in the next step it will become plus minus under root of 33 upon 4 minus of 1 by 4. These are the two values of x so let me different uh, write, uh, write again that is plus under root of 33 minus 1 by 4 or minus under root of 33 minus 1 by 4. So these are the two roots of the given quadratic equation by method of completing the square. Now the next equation that is let me write the equation. Third equation is 4x square plus 4 root 3x. 4x square plus 4 root 3x plus 3 is equals to 0. 
let me check it once again that is plus 3 is equals to 0 so now applying the method of complete completion of whole square again so taking out 4 common so I'll be left with x square plus root 3x plus 3 by 4 is equals to 0 so let me complete the whole square I'll be left with x square plus under root of 3x is equals to minus of 3 by 4 so to complete the whole square the coefficient of x that is root 3 multiply it with half and then squaring it will be left with that is 3 upon 4 so I need to add 3 by 4 both the sides so it will become x square plus root 3x plus 3 by 4 is equals to minus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 so in the left hand side we have completed the whole square of that is x plus root 3 by 2 whole square is equals to 0 so the value of x because the x, uh, equation was quadratic so they have equal roots they both are equal to x is equals to minus root 3 by 2 right so these are the two roots of the given equation next moving on to the fourth part of the question the quadratic equation given to us is 2x square plus x plus 4 2x square plus x plus 4 is equals to 0 so now applying the method of completion of whole square taking out 2 common from the equation will be left with x square plus x upon 2 plus 2 is equals to 0 now our will be left with x square plus x upon 2 is equals to minus 2 so now I want to complete the whole square on the left hand side so taking the coefficient of x that is half and multiplying it by half and squaring the term will be left with 1 by 16 now adding 1 by 16 both the sides to complete the square that is plus 1 by 16 is equals to minus 2 plus 1 by 16 in the left hand side we have completed the square that is x plus 1 by 4 whole square is equal to by taking the LCM will be left with minus of 32 plus 1 so that is equal to minus 31 upon 16 now if I want to take the square root this is not possible because negative square root is not possible so I can say that the real root does not exist so we cannot find the root of this quadratic e equation thank you for class 6 to 12 ITJ and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today